I think it took us all a minute to actually believe that it was happening and not just a dream. It was all very surreal and emotional. And then once we all clicked in, it felt like no time had ever passed and we had a great time. Yeah, it happened so fast and uh, we were so excited to get the call that it was gonna, that it was gonna go through. And um, once we got together on set, we, I don't think we had all been together ever over the six years. And so once we were all in the room, you know, and looking around at people, it was like, wow, you know, this is, this is really happening. So it was a very happy day and a very happy month of shooting and a year of post-production, getting it ready and, and now bringing it to audiences everywhere. Uh, tonight slash tomorrow is, uh, you know, it's all paying off. So it's really, really exciting. I think my character changed a little bit. You know, he kind of got obsessed yeah. with being famous, being a big, you know, a big shot superhero and kind of forgot you know why he wanted to uh to, to become a superhero in the first place and so i think it's kind of uh universal and i think we all get caught up in in the, in the minutia and the glitz and glam of, of things and uh you gotta you gotta remember uh what your purpose is and that that was kind of that's kind of max's uh, arc during this movie i had a good time just saying the lines that were super classic phoebe but my favorite moment is when they were hiding behind the couch and the villains open it up and i get to go hello and it's just like <laughs> yeah i'm 16 again I love, I love the twin moments too, like where we have to say something at the exact yeah. same time, because we're so good at like reading each other's mind and like knowing how to time that properly. So it's really fun to get to do that together again. Yeah, I mean, we definitely feel like brother and sister and uh, we kind of went separate ways for a little while to go build our lives and kind of grow up and become adults. And so it was really nice to get to come back okay. together as adults and and slip right back into that thing that we did so well as kids. Yeah, it was so special to us and uh, we never thought we'd be able to, to do it again, really. And uh, it's surreal. It's really, really cool because, you know, I, there was a long time where I was like, wow, like uh, I, I loved that experience so much and it's in the past and we're never going to be able to touch it again. And we closed that book and, you know, it is what it is. You got to kind of take all the positive things from it and move on. And and here we are six years later and the show has has done so well and transcended it across so many audiences and especially with, with yeah. streamers and, and, and COVID happened. Everyone was watching it on online and uh you know it, it it allowed us to to come back and uh it's really really amazing it can be hard to find the balance between you know living life in your real life and and enjoying social media you know uh for me i feel like one of the best things about social media is being able to connect with fans directly mm. and that's something that we didn't have quite as much of in the very beginning of the show and now it's such a different world where you know it, it was really great to be able to like read fans' opinions as we were developing the movie to make sure that it would be something that they would love um but you do also every once in a while have to like put your phone down and just be with the people in the room around you. Touch grass. Touch grass, as it were, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, one of my favorite fan memories was in Italy. Uh, I was in Rome a couple of years ago, crazy, Christmas, yeah. and there were a lot of fans coming up and saying hi. And um, at one point I was eating dinner outside and a fan noticed me and then she left and she came back and she brought me a little Rome Christmas ornament that I had mm -hmm. almost bought myself earlier in the day and I had decided to wait and she bought me this little ornament and it sits on my Christmas tree. And every year I get to look at it and get to remember how awesome the Italian fans are. I know Jack's had amazing experience with, with the fans in Italy too. So you guys are awesome. Yeah, seriously. I mean, Italy has been like a, a very, very top, you know, top country supporter of the show. You know, when I went there a couple of years ago. It was, it was just insane. It was unlike any other place I've been ever. I felt like, yeah. you know, like crazy so we'd love to come back yeah yeah we we'd love to spend more time there and and, and meet italian fans so uh yeah just just thank you thank you to everyone out there who, who supported over the years and we uh we hope that you really enjoy uh the new era of the thundermans